Welcome back. Today I've got something really cool to do. A uh, fellow I know was growing some vanilla orchids and he said, anytime you want to come by and get some pieces, come on by. And I went by and he cut me some long pieces of vanilla vine. So I went and looked up how to plant them and how to take care of them. And we are going to plant vanilla today. All right, here I've got my vanilla vines. I need to divide off some pieces that are a couple of feet long and then find spots to plant them. One, two. Let's plant this whole one. There's the end piece growing right there. I like redundancy. I like to have multiples of everything just in case. There we go. Now it's time to take them and plant them. This is the base of a rambutan tree, and it's not a very big tree yet, and gonna try and hopefully keep it a little smaller. A vanilla orchid will climb all the way to the top. And as you can see, I didn't really plant the vanilla orchid tree. I just put it on top of the soil and threw some organic matter over the top of it, some rough sticks and leaf mulch here. And allegedly, they'll just grow into that. They don't really grow down into the ground. That's not how they work. They're a tree climber. So this is the end that's gonna climb. The other end is not. And I'll post the video on planting uh, vanilla orchids that I found and watched a few times. Um, I'm just gonna go with a professional's, professional farmer's method way of doing it. So we've just got this here and I left the other end sticking out of the ground on the other side over here too. So. This one is here, the rambutan, and now I'm gonna go plant them on a few other trees. They're supposed to work really well with cocoa trees, so let's go plant one next to a cocoa tree. Hey sheep, what are you doing? What are you doing sheep?
You might look at this and say, which end is up? How do you know? The leaves go every which way. They can flop up and they can flop down. But the way you tell is look for the side that cups. The cup goes up, the rounded part is down. So you can see the little root right on the side of each leaf. So this one, that's down. That is, let's see, there we go. <laughs> that's, that's up. That's up. So it goes this way. So we want this side pointing up at the base of the tree. And I know it totally looks weird, but that's the way you do it. This is a mango tree. It's almost always these nasty tuk-tuk ants, which I got stung by one throwing mulch on the other one. Yeah, I see them. They're in there. Always in there. I hate those things. They sting like a wasp and they, they, they get into organic matter. They're always in like loose leaves and stuff and they try to kill you when you turn their nest over and spread their babies all over the place. But even if you get close to them, they attack. It's not like, you know, I mean, you can't, you can't be nice with them. They're nasty, they're evil. They probably, I can hear them ticking. They're going tick, ticky, tick, tick, tick. I don't even want to get close. I don't want to like cultivate, but anyhow, that's going to go up. Let's cover it. Not, can't do this the nice way. I'm gonna not. Looks like I don't even care. I do care. I do care. It's just I'm putting you in a bad neighborhood. There you go. Good luck. Let the tuck tucks get you. There we go. All right. Good luck. Another mango tree. And more evil ants. Everything in the tropics wants to kill you. Always something. This side is the up side. This is a mess. I'm, I'm sure this is all wrong. This is terrible. No, nah, it'll be fine. It'll find its way. It's an orchid. This is the tropics. These things are like unkillable. And I might find a way. There we go. I can't even like, I can't even pick up this debris. I can hear the ants clicking at me. They're like a black ant. It's kind of like a bull ant, except skinnier. I don't know if they have a stinger or what, but jeez. I just sort of <laughs> throw it together. Go, little jungle orchid. Make me some vanilla. Good luck. There we go. Let's hope for the best. I can point one of these out for you. There's a, come on, come over here. There's some. I don't know if you can even see them or not. There. See the little black ants running through there. Do you hear the ticking sounds? Let's try plant one at the base of an avocado tree. That'd be cool. Make a little furrow. Get rid of the weeds. There's always rocks. Stick our vanilla in here and see what we get. We'll discover something amazing. This side is down. 
This one is up. There we go. Get some mulch. Let's put this last one at the bottom of a citrus. I don't know if that's a good combination or not, but you find these things out by trying. I'm not an expert on vanilla. I've never grown it before, except for a vanilla orchid I used to keep in the, by the bathroom window, like over the shower in a previous house. And I kept it alive there for a while and ended up giving it away to a friend of mine. So, don't know, but did learn how to plant them thanks to the wonder of YouTube. And so I'm sharing that with you now. And we will put this one right here. I'll go find some mulch and try to drag it over without getting killed by ants. There we go. Thanks for joining me today. Sort of like another episode of Better Gardening Through Experimentation. We plant them at different trees, we'll see how they do, and I will give you updates on how they grow, as they grow. We'll be visiting them again, and hopefully they'll all take, and then we're gonna have to figure out how to pollinate the flowers and all that kind of cool stuff. Well, that'd be great. Yeah, I just, I just love trying out new crops. Anyhow, um, hope you're having fun at home. Hope you're trying out something new. Probably not vanilla since it's pretty uh, pretty limited on uh, climate. Um, many of you being up in places where it gets a little colder. But I know some of you are watching from the tropics. And if you've grown vanilla before, let me know. I'd love to hear about it. And I'll talk to you in the comments. And until next time, may your thumbs always be green. I went to see David. David the good. Listen to Portis Head and drink spiced rum.